there, Walter here. I'm just saying Happy New Year's to everybody. Hope you had a good uh, holiday, have a uh, good uh, Christmas, New Year's, everything. I had looked at the videos on YouTube lately and realized it's been over a month since I made a video. So, horrors! So I'm going to do a video today and I'm going to show you how I practice on Morse code using a software called G4FON. Now you're going to notice this video is not going to skip at all. I'm not going to be pausing it, adding any effects or anything. So you can see that I'm practicing without cheating. Okay, so Mr. Laptop, please superimpose me onto your screen. Okay, now here's what we got here. This is called G4FON right here. Now this is what I usually use for my code practice. Double click that. Let's start this up. This is what I get right here. And I'm going to leave it at this screen, at this size here. Now let me show you some of the things that I do on here. This is called the actual character speed, which is the actual speed that the characters are set in Morse code. Effective code speed, I could have it go faster or slower. Now in both cases, I'm going to have this at 15 words per minute. I also have different uh, setups here for QRM, which is man-made interference. Whether I can use a straight key, which is what you normally find in uh, tele telegraph uh, videos and pictures from back in the 1800s with uh, the railroads and everything. Chirp, I don't know what that is. I'll just skip that. Pitch dither, variable weight. Yeah, I'm not going to use those either. Uh, QSB. I think that is flutter, uh, which is what the sound gets when you have uh, when you have the uh, system uh, or they have the radio signal it'll send like a fluttering sound. I'm going to leave those off. Signal strength, false signal strength. That's what the S9 means. Noise level. I'm going to leave that off. I don't want to do that. I don't want to play around with any interference here when I practice. 40 characters. That's what I'm going to use. Just 40 characters, which includes some or punctuation, if I can learn how to talk right. All the alphabetical characters and all the numeric characters. The pitch, I like the pitch at setting. Uh, display delay. Now here's the neat part. Usually on display delay, I have this set for 10. So after a uh, Morse code character is sent, you actually see it on the screen after 10 seconds. For this uh, video that I'm making here, I'm going to leave that at zero. So you can see what the character is as it's being sent. But while that's going on, I'm going to be turned away here and writing down in my notebook. So that way I can't see the screen at all. <coughs> time. That's how long the time is set for. I'm going to do this setup on here. Uh, this is going to be a five minute session. So this will be running Morse code straight at five minutes. There is a 10 second delay. So when I hit the start button, which is right up here, this countdown will go from 10 to zero. It gives me 10 seconds to get ready and start writing down the characters and everything else. And like I said, I will not be seeing the screen at all. Um, you can do anything on the setup here with a uh, uh, general setup, or you could set it up for characters, uh, everything like that. Um, your speed and everything else I do on here. Here's all the characters that I'm going to be using. And yes, there's some punctuation marks. There's your comma, your period, your slash, um, like your slant bar. There's your question mark as well. So I can set that for however many characters I want. So this is actually good for if you want to learn Morse code. You just go ahead and uh, click on which characters you want to learn and you can learn it at your own speed. And then as you get comfortable you can add more characters on. Now before I start here, G4FON coach. What does that stand for? Okay, G4FON is the call sign of the person that developed the software. I don't remember his name. He's from a different country outside of the United States. But he's actually developed a great program. I like this a lot. I know a lot of other people have liked the, this software and they use it a lot. And 
I recommend it. I really do. The person that made this doesn't know it, but yeah, I'm recommending it. Coach. Coach is one of the two softwares, or not, okay, uh, boink. Coach is one of the two learning methods. So they actually have software for Coach and for the other learning method, which is called Farnsworth. Now, but the big difference with this is Farnsworth, you take the characters and you learn all the characters at a slightly higher speed. So in this case, this is at 15 words per minute, set up for 20 words per minute, or even 25 words per minute, but add extra spacing in there. So it gives you more time to identify the character, write it down, whatever else. I, that's how you can learn it. That's the Farnsworth method. Coach, they take two characters and run it at a really high rate of speed, like maybe 35, 40 words per minute, but only two characters. So when you get the two characters learned and you get like a 90% on that, then add a third or a fourth character in there. Just take your time. Just learn all of them at a really high rate of speed. No extra spacing in there. Now, with the effect of code speed on there, you can add the effect of spacing on it. So instead of 15 words per minute, that's shown right over here. Instead of 15 words per minute, if you want to learn it at 5 words per minute, that's good. It will send your characters out at 15 words per minute, but it will add extra spacing so it actually slows it down to the 5 word per minute uh, speed. And then when you get better with that, you can speed it up. So uh, there are a lot of the good softwares out there, a lot of good programs to use for this. I recommend this, um, and that's what I use a lot. So we're going to get started. Got my pen here. And I've got uh, everything set up. I always take my glasses off so I can uh, see what I'm writing. Although I can't see anything right now. In fact, looking at the camera display right now, I'm a blur. So, are we ready? We're ready. You can practice at home if you want. I'm going to be practicing right here. We'll see how the speed is. And there, how, well, the speed is going to be at 15 words per minute. But we're going to see how the, uh, how the grading is going to be here. How many words I can get right. Okay, so... Um, okay, start, 10 seconds, I'm ready. Do I have my...
Okay, I did really bad on that one. <clears throat> oh, yeah, I did really bad. I, I haven't practiced for a long time. I haven't even done any Morse code since October. So let's see how bad I did. We have 297 characters. Okay, that's what is shown down here. That's all the characters. Now I've got to check my grading. So here's what I do on here. It's probably hard to see, but when I uh, mess up somewhere, like right over here, I just put a line down and I just figure out what characters I did miss. So we'll start out here. Now you can start uh, looking at this with me if you want. Let's see, 933X, okay. E-V-A-C-I, comma, 6D question mark. Zero, okay, I missed a spot. S, K, O, B, J. Yes, that's what it says on there. I, U, L, H, slash, 3, W, O, 0, 2, K, T, Z, uh -huh. T is a dash, E is a dot, so yeah, I messed that one up, D, J, N, M, 9, E, V, 6, you know, I'm going to go ahead and speed this segment up, so I could just go ahead and grade it, while uh, you don't watch me read off every character, let's do that, Mr. Laptop, speed me up. Okay, now we got this all set up here, 297 characters, now I need to grade myself, I need to count, count out how many I had missed, so there's a lot, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 59. So 59 out of the 297 is missed. So now I'm going to go over to the calculator. If I can, well, I actually have a calculator on my tablet. Let's get this, let's just get this uh, tablet going here. Okay, now 
I go over from my calculator. We have 297 characters altogether. So 297 minus 59 characters. That's 238 correct. So that's 238. Now, to get my score, take the 238 and divide it by 297. Move the decimal place at two places to the right. I have 80.1%. Which means I need to practice some more. This is only 15 words a minute. So, that's what I have to do, is just practice more on this. And they do say practice makes perfect. Okay. So, we're going to go ahead and take this off. We are done with uh, G4 F1 coach right now. Mr. Laptop, put me back to the normal screen, please. Okay, so this is what we have here for G4 F01 Coach for my practice. Really nice uh, software to use. Anybody can use it. So uh, that's going to be it for tonight. And uh, I'm going to say thanks for watching here. Um, I hope this uh, might interest you in pursuing uh, learning about the Morse code. It's actually really fun. So as far as with the video, you know the drill. Like it, subscribe to it, all that good stuff. If you have comments, yeah, leave it down below. And remember, keep it rated E for everybody. Yeah. So, until the next video here, have a good uh, start for the new year. And I'll say 7-3.